Hey guys, it's Chef Jason. Welcome to today's edition of Ace This Recipe. I'm pretty excited because today we are making what my daughter calls sugar nuts. That's right, we're gonna do some amazing roasted glazed pecans on the Big Green Egg. I'll tell you if you uh, have been to state fairs or county fairs or even stock shows, you know the line is long at the Roasted Nut booth. And today we are gonna show you how to make these at home on your Big Green Egg. So let's get cooking and we'll get rocking and rolling some amazing sugar roasted nuts. We'll take a minute and walk through ingredients and you know what, easy easy ingredients today. We've got uh, a pound of pecans. We went with whole pecans, uh, and these are gonna be raw or untoasted. We wanna make sure that those are all set and ready to absorb all this great flavor. We've got cane sugar. That's right, uh, I like cane sugar. It's a little bit more robust, a little bit heartier flavor, and we are uh, gonna enjoy that. We've got some fresh ground cinnamon. That is perfect. We've got some allspice. Now, between the cinnamon and the allspice, it's really gonna add a good depth of flavor. Then, just a tiny bit of salt. We don't wanna go crazy with the salt, but we definitely want to season these nuts a little bit. We've got egg whites. We're going to use egg whites to help uh, froth up and help the sugar and everything stick to our uh, pecans. And then a little bit of water just to kind of enhance those egg whites. Now, today, we're gonna use our disposable drip pans because this is gonna be a great surface to spread those nuts out on and really allow us within the next hour to get these all set and ready to go. So we'll get the big green egg fired up and then we are going to get prep done and uh, we're gonna we're gonna make the backyard smell pretty good today. So we'll go ahead and get the big green egg started up. We're gonna be cooking today at 300 degrees. We uh, topped it off with charcoal. We got everything set. We're gonna be using the expander system today loaded with the convector. And we're gonna do the convector with the legs up. It'll give us a big, huge surface uh, to allow our drip pan uh, filled with roasted nuts to uh, work out perfectly. So we'll get this all fired up. We'll be ready to rock and roll. First step today is we're gonna go ahead and get the sugar and the cinnamon right there, and the allspice right there, and the salt. We're gonna go ahead and get this all mixed up because this is gonna become the flavoring component of those sugar nuts, right? So we'll get that all set, get that all mixed in like so. Next, we're gonna mix the egg whites. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add the egg whites to the bowl, set that to the side, Add a little bit of water as well. Now we're just gonna whisk these guys until they start to froth up. And we just want um, like the beginning of soft peaks. Nothing too crazy, but we'll get that done super quick. Show you how that goes. That water helps those egg whites kind of do their thing. Like that. Just a little bit of froth, just a tiny bit of peak. Now we'll go ahead and add the pecans in here. And then what we're gonna do is mix the pecans because we want those egg whites to uh, soak into the pecans, get them all set, ready to go. Want those pecans to be just coated, right? Make sure we got it all set. You know what, you wanna make sure there's nothing in the bottom, right? We still have a little bit, so we're gonna keep mixing until those pecans absorb everything. All right. That is set. Now, go ahead and sprinkle our sugar mixture in there. And now we're gonna go ahead and get that mixed and get everything coated. So, we're gonna let these sit now for a couple minutes, right? I wanna let them kind of stick. I want that sugar to get there, all the seasoning, spices, everything to just kind of work its magic. So, we'll let those guys sit for just a minute, but look at that. We've got our convector drip pan all set and ready to go. I love it because this is gonna be disposable today and that's gonna work out fine. Now, I'm laughing because my wife said, you made one pound of sugar nuts? Who makes one pound of sugar nuts? Which is a really good point, right? You can easily double this recipe. Uh, this is an extra large today, so that'll definitely hold uh, two pounds. But now, we're gonna go ahead and get these guys put on here. Now, what I like to do is go ahead and just get these kind of spread out almost to the point where they're not touching maybe just to kind of help them uh, maybe not stick, but a little bit of sticking is okay, so let's not worry about that. Uh, we'll show you how to fix that at the end, but get these guys spread out and ready to go. All right, carefully we'll go ahead and set those guys down. The beauty of this, right? That convector is gonna heat up the bottom base, which is gonna be perfect. It's gonna roll across that dome, get these guys all set. So we're gonna let these go now for 15 minutes. Then we'll come back and we'll start to stir these guys every 15 minutes. Total cook time today is gonna be about one hour or until these are just perfect and roasted how you like them. All right, 15 minutes in, it is time to give these guys a stir, get these things all set and ready to go. I'm using a, just a silicone scraper to kind of help get everything set. All right, 
we'll flatten them out again, and then we're gonna repeat this process, right? Every 15 minutes, so we'll do this probably three more times, get everything set and ready to go. So we'll get this shut, see you back here again, uh, another 15 minutes. All right, here we are stirring for time number three. Now, if you notice a little browning, right? Don't worry about it, here's what I'm doing. Uh, I'm gonna move these guys to the outside a little bit because uh, I have a hot spot in the middle, no big deal. Uh, move them to the outside. Flatten them out, spread them out just a little bit so they can finish up. Or what you can do is put another one of the convector pans on here upside down just to give it a little bit of air gap in there as well. But we're gonna go ahead and start with this. Let these guys finish off. And remember, super important, stay with these. This is definitely not the time where you wanna go in the house, sit down on the couch and uh, enjoy a little bit of relaxing because relaxing means you will uh, scorch these guys pretty good. So we'll close it up, let these finish off. We are done. Uh, we let these guys cool for about two hours. We took them off the egg, let them cool, and you can hear that nice crackling. I'm just going through here now, getting them separated from the tray, loading them up here. I'll tell you what, these make some pretty amazing gifts too. You could put them in uh, mason jars or candy jars, put them in Ziploc bags, give them away as gifts uh, that are absolutely fantastic. Great on salads and more. These nuts uh, definitely uh, just take on the flavor of the big green egg. They come out absolutely fantastic. So, hey, I'm Chef Jason Morris, your Ace Hardware grilling expert. For today's recipe and more, be sure to subscribe to our Ace Hardware YouTube channel or visit us at acehardware.com. And we'll see you soon at your local, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, quality control, your local Ace Hardware. Seriously? We'll start selling these. Sugar nuts, here we come.